The Kogod Foundation has been extremely generous throughout the Washington, D.C. area, especially to independent schools. In 2016, uh, Bob and Arlene Kogod signed the Giving Pledge, in which they committed to giving half of their assets away uh, during their lifetime. They have supported schools with a diversity of mission um, and a broad range of students. Uh, Sidwell Friends School was founded in 1883 as the first Quaker school in the nation's capital. We have been educating the students from kindergarten to uh, grade 12 for over 120 years. The Kogods gave a very important gift to the school in 1983. That gift was in celebration of the school's centennial. And their gift was part of what was called the Centennial Challenge. And a key part of that plan was the building of what became the Kogod Art Center, uh, which has really become a foundation of our community. We have uh, assemblies there on a weekly basis. We have all of our theater productions there. Uh, it has served at certain times as a place to have meeting for worship. We have even had memorial services in that space. So it really has become uh, an important anchor. Bob is an extraordinary energetic person, extraordinarily principled and extraordinarily organized. I can remember sitting with him in a meeting uh, in my office where he reached into his uh, jacket pocket and pulled out a list and said, this is my entire life right here. And on that list, he enumerated all the various causes that the Kogod family supports. And he, you have a sense with Bob that he wakes up every day thinking about how he can best serve the community. That's why I'm not surprised that he signed the Giving Pledge, which puts more emphasis on how do you serve people rather than on your own individual needs. And he's deeply committed to that. And when the Kogod family commits to a cause, it's not just philanthropically. Uh, Bob has been a tremendous advisor and friend in the time that I've been here at Sidwell Friends School, and I know that's the case for every head of school uh, with whom he's worked. The Charles E. Smith Jewish Day School is a pluralistic junior kindergarten through 12th grade school. We have two campuses, a lower school and an upper school, and we uh, just celebrated our 50th anniversary. The connection between uh, the Kogod family and the Charles E. Smith Jewish Day School goes back many, many years. Uh, Arlene Kogod's father was Charles E. Smith, who the school is named after, and uh, Bob Kogod uh, worked with uh, Mr. Smith together at their company and real estate firm. They have an interest in education and in technology how independent schools can really be at the forefront and the cutting edge of education and to anticipate uh, where the field of education may be going. It, it, it's hard to believe, but uh, 10 or 12 years ago, when someone would walk into our classrooms, they, they didn't see students with computers. Um, the teachers were certainly not using cutting edge technology in terms of delivering instruction. One of the significant gifts that they gave to the school was to further our 21st century learning technology and curriculum development. Today, all of our students have their own laptops. They use them in every aspect of their education. And we've really transformed also the infrastructure of the school to be able to teach in a way that's more collaborative, that's more connected, that's more integrated with the world outside of the school. The vision and the, the thoughtful way in which they give their support really allows different organizations to flourish. They really understand the value of an independent school education and they've supported that value for many, many years. The Kogods are deserving of this award because they've demonstrated a commitment to such a broad variety of schools and because they have worked with those schools at a very deep and meaningful level. This is not a one-time commitment that they make to a school. They want to engage with schools over the long haul. And that kind of engagement is what really makes a dramatic difference in an institution. We often say that we want our students to let their lives speak. And the Kogod Foundation, the Kogod family, have just been powerful examples of that philosophy.